Hello everyone, Chief Meteorologist Brian Hale, a warm and humid forecast for the Rio Grande Valley through the weekend and into next week. The good news is we have a more aggressive southeast wind, maybe that can take the edge off it for you. We are talking about rip currents as it is Rip Current Awareness Week. About 100 people die each year along the U.S. coast as a result of getting caught up in a rip current. We've had 16 deaths along our coast since 2008, so that's good, uh, good reason to be careful if you're going to be out in the water, out in the surf, between those sandbars. Uh, gusting 25 to 30 miles an hour, yeah, that sustained wind 20 to 22 is going to be present in this forecast for several days. Satellite shows that we have low pressure over the Bay of Campeche still, and this is that low that's kind of you know, a marriage of two lows. It was its original low sitting over the bay, and then the remnant of Tropical Storm Boris came up from the south, and the two got together, and we're pretty much looking at that right now, that area of low pressure over the Bay of Campeche. It is forecast to slowly drift to the west now. Forget the track off toward Florida. It looks like it's going to move on to the west later in the weekend, early next week. It won't come here. High pressure is going to block it from coming here, and our water temperatures too cool for any decent tropical development. Futurecast takes you through the end of the week into the weekend. Again, aggressive southeast winds, a mix of clouds and clear all the way on through. Looks good to me, but it also looks like you better have plenty of bottled water handy if you're going to be working outside. Seven-day forecast shows you that will be plenty warm, but don't forget the heat index. It will feel more like 100 to 105 each day across the Rio Grande Valley. That's a look at your 24-7 forecast.